Hi, this is Jennifer from SimpleScrapper.com and I wanted to show you my December Daily Project Foundation that uses the new 2012 Simple Scrapper Holiday Kit. So you can see here, I created a cover last night and I'm really excited about it. I used a little strip of the gold vellum here with the red glitter tape, um, the gold airmail washi. And a little extra thing I did add is this little tab here that I punched out of a piece of craft uh, and added a date stamp to that. This uh, gold triangle, or I'm sorry, aqua triangle washi tape is um, an extra in the shop that you can grab. The sticker comes from the Cosmos Cricut uh, sticker set that comes in the kit, and these um, Mary alphabet stickers are crepe paper thickers, and I just love these. They're just red and glossy. And this is all on the, the white wood grain foundation, and I just love how, how crisp that is and, and the great contrast between that and the red. Okay, so let's take a peek inside. So for my first page, I kind of reordered the pages a little bit here to just, you know, make it how I want it. And that's what I love about the kit is that you can just rearrange things. I took this uh, pink and red chevron and then added that green ribbon that came, that bound my kit together when I received it. And this little gold star is something that I'd picked up a long time ago from Michaels, and I think they still have them. I saw them there recently, um, and I've you know I've made a big effort not to include a lot of additional embellishments in this to show you what you can do with the kit. And I think there's just two, maybe three little things that I've added from my own stash. I haven't purchased anything new this year other than what uh, was here in the kit. And so to adhere this um, green ribbon, what I did is I, um, I took it around the back and so the seam is here underneath the star and I used my little stapler to staple that together and then just used a piece of um, a little bit of zip dry paper glue underneath the ribbon to, to hold it down on the page. So there's still a little wiggle room here but it is firmly fastened. So this is kind of my intro kind of a decorative page. I created another decorative page here with the rest of that gold vellum sheet. I edged it with the gold airmail washi tape. And then I created this little stamped image. This is a Technique Tuesday set from Allie Edwards from a previous year. This is the, the set here. And this is the, the long um, sentiment here. So I used um, some red uh, chalk ink and uh, clear embossing powder and just created a little embossed image. And then I, I stapled that on with my tiny attacher. So those are my two decorative pages, and the rest of this will start the rest of my project. And what I've done is I've taken the kit, and I'm going to do just one page per day, because I think that kind of makes it the most doable for me. I don't have to think about a spread and how things go together. And so I will start here with day one. Show you here. So these are the number tags from Ellie's Studio, and I've already cut mine out. I used mostly scissors to cut these out because they are so small. And so here's my one number. And what I'm going to do this year is I'm actually going to use only 3x3 three three photos in my album on my daily pages. And where I do have like a really great photo, I'm going to go ahead and make it 6x6, six six, and then I'll do two 6x6s six inserted as an extra page in between two pages. And so my plan is for each day I will have one of these number stickers, I'll maybe use a little bit of washi tape, maybe more of this aqua triangles. I'll have my three by three photos. And some days I'll journal directly on the page and probably a lot with these craft pages. And then other days I'll use one of the tags from the Pink Paisley City Sidewalk set. And so I'll just kind of create a little clustered page. It'll be really focused on the journaling and the photos though. And then for each day, I'll also be able to add one of these 25 sleigh ride tape stickers, which I really love because they, they kind of show the whole color spectrum from the entire kit, and I really like that. And then when there's some, something extra special, I'll create an additional text sentiment, like maybe ho 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 with these letter stickers, 
or another one using the alphabets. Okay, so this is page one and two, three and four, days five and six. And you can see I've added this gold airmail to every single one of the craft pages. Seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve, thirteen and fourteen, fifteen and sixteen, seventeen and eighteen, nineteen and twenty, twenty-one and twenty-two, twenty-three and twenty-four. So now we're here at Christmas Eve, and I have here this other gold vellum sheet. And I've added just this little, um, it's called a tin pin, it's from October Afternoon, this was like their last year's holiday line. And so I had found that on clearance at one of my local craft stores, and so I just picked that up earlier this year and thought it would be fun here to go into December 25th. And so now here I have two full craft pages that I can use for all the photos of Christmas Day. And then I have that big craft envelope with it at the end for all the different memorabilia from the year. And I think I might use it this year to just use lots, put lots of the little gift tags that we receive on holiday presents just so that we can kind of see how people's handwriting changes over the years because I love that. Here's my back page. And I just did a little quick embellishment in the back with another piece of that aqua triangle tape and one of those Cosmo Cricut stickers. So that's my foundation. I don't do a lot to get started because when I'm working on the album and I'm working on one of those pages, I'll be using the tags and the tape and my photo and I'll be arranging it based on probably the length of the story that I want to tell. If I have a lot to write, then I will make sure I include plenty of space to write. If I have a lot less, then I will arrange things so that there's less room for journaling. And that will be part of the fun of adding each page per day in December. So the 2012 Simple Scrapper Holiday Kit can be purchased at shop.simplescrapper.com. And I think at this point we're just getting about to about half sold out, so make sure you grab yours.